They're small, harmless, and found only in Guam. Before the struggling Guam tree snail population, it may not be long before they go the way of other Guam snails, including two which have become increasingly rare and a third which is now extinct. KUAM met with biologist Kurt Fieler at the site of a new research project in Assen Park. The north side of the ridge where we are now um, has a very fairly large population. The south side of the ridge uh, unfortunately has uh, been inundated by little fire ants. In an effort to remove snails from a potentially harmful fire ant zone, volunteers from the Park Service, the Department of Agriculture's Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources, and the University of Guam relocated hundreds of the snails last week. So what we did last week was we collected and marked about 300 snails and uh, we measured them and we moved them over here to different spots and you can see the red tag over there. Uh, seven different locations uh, in the hope that they'll do well over here. And so far it looks pretty good. Feeler says this project is aimed to not only help the snails, but to also raise awareness in the community. They are endemic uh, to Guam, only found on Guam, this particular species. And uh, they are going to be listed uh, either as threatened or endangered on the endangered species list. The snails are affected not only by increased human activity, but also by invasive species. Manaquari flatworm was originally, well, perhaps accidentally introduced uh, to control uh, the giant African snails you may see in your garden. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, those, um, those flatworms have done a number on uh, our local native populations of tree snails. Researchers will continue to monitor the snail population for the next three weeks. Feeler said this relocation is just one part of a long-term project aimed at monitoring snail populations and preventing the extinction of these species. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza.